Hey everybody, my name's Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler, and welcome to Amigo Trails. Let's check out this one. But again, before we do, right here is the link to my resale app. Up above is the link to my new construction website. You can go to either one of those links or scan the QR code with your phone and it will take you directly to them. Completely free to use. Let's check out this one. So, Amigo Trails. We are looking at a DR Horton build. It is new construction, but before we talk about it, if you are thinking about buying new, you want to buy new, you are considering buying a new home, call me right away. Call me before you call the builder, before you email them, before you go and talk to sales associates and see the models in person. I need to go with you the first time if you want representation, because otherwise you're going to work directly with the sales associates and they actually represent the builder. They don't represent you. They have their fiduciary responsibility to the builder. So if you want representation, Give me a call. All of my info is down in the description as well as the pinned comment. And fun fact, as the buyer, you don't pay the realtor commission. The builder does. One more reason to give me a call. So I'm going to spin around really quickly, put a map up. We are in the south today, down in Henderson, pretty close to Inspirata. But let's talk about this one again. Amigo Trails, this is a DR Horton community. It's going to be... They only have two models, so it's gonna be another model right here. It's gonna be the exact same one, but we're gonna save the 1417 for another day. Today we are talking about the 1319. This is three bed, two and a half bath. There is a two car garage, it's on the other side. This one is going to be 369,990. Now that's the price. Some of them might have a lot premium, which I heard was two to six thousand dollars, but what you see is what you get. It's gonna come with appliances. I know people are always, when we see models, oh, everything's an add-on or an option. Not the case with these ones. Now, do me a huge favor and hit that like button. Also, if you wanna stay up to date on tours, make sure to subscribe. So coming in. Again, this home is 1,300 square feet. It is a three bedroom, but it's nice. You do have very open down here. So let me come on over here towards our dining area and let me spin around just so you can see. It's one big open room. The real only difference you're gonna see between the models is it's uh, in what you normally get is they put some paint on the walls and they put the speakers up in the ceiling. Other than that, this is the home you're gonna get. It might have different countertops, it may have different cabinet colors, but this is the actual home. You're gonna get that stove, you're gonna get that. Unless they've updated it and changed it, it's gonna be a stainless steel fridge, stainless steel uh, stove, and microwave. So coming on into the kitchen, they have the 36 inch uppers. You have your stainless steel microwave. Let's take a peek. It does vent outside. That is cool, because, oh, not soft closing, but again, if you need to soft closing cabinets, you go to Lowe's or Home Depot and switch out the hinges, but it's nice that it vents outside. We have our four, sit their dual element cooktop, and then we have our stainless steel fridge. Right here we have our pantry. Oh, and it is a bit of a Harry Potter room too. So you have storage and pantry. It's actually a pretty big pantry. And then we have our peninsula. So right here we have our stainless steel undermounted sink. If you don't know what this guy is, this is a... If you don't know what this is, this is a reverse osmosis spout. So basically there's filters underneath the sink right there. Bottled, pretty much bottled water will come out of that. Here's your view. Pretty nice. Before we get over to the powder room, right here is our stainless steel dishwasher. And then this door would lead to our garage. Unfortunately, it is locked. They always keep them that way for storage and or office space. Right here we have our powder room. Again, the only difference between the actual home if you were to purchase in here is just it would be white. But I do like the size of it. I appreciate how bright that light is because sometimes these powder rooms get a little dim. Not the case here. But let's go ahead and head on upstairs. Oh, interesting. I just noticed this. What do you think about these light switches? I feel like they're very European looking, but pretty neat. I mean, it's definitely easy to hit them when you want to turn on and off. Right here we have our coat closet. But heading on upstairs, 
Again, if you have any questions about anything I'm saying in this tour and any other new tour, or you want to see one, anything new, resale, anything in between, or you need to speak with a lender and potentially find out what you would qualify for, give me a call. Get all my info down in the description as well as the pink comment. So we do have a landing up here. I wouldn't consider it a loft by any means, but you could turn this into a little reading area or you could put a desk there if you have kids and you want to do some study or something like that. Something you could use this space. It's nice just with a little storage. Let's go ahead and start right here. So bedroom number one. So it is a little bit on the smaller side. Again, the home is 1300 square feet. You can see, I'm just trying to back up. You could fit a full size bed, a dresser and maybe a desk. If it was a small desk, you could probably fit it, but it would be tight. I'm gonna be honest. This is almost like the 2020 setup where I know everyone was doing homeschool and Zoom learning. If we spin around, Again, if you need more closet space, you can move that bar and shelf up, add a second one, and you've doubled your hanging space. But they are a little bit on the smaller side. Coming on out, right here, we have our linens, and then into the second bedroom. So it looks to be basically, I'm just taking a peek, the same size as the first. So you can see they did a full-size bed. You could do two nightstands. I guess you could kind of cheat the bed more this way and then put a desk on the corner, maybe no nightstand, but it would be a little bit on the tighter side if you try to get uh, a dresser in here. You could definitely put a dresser here, but then you'd only have a very narrow walkway right here. And then again, same closet. So these are just mirrored images of each other. Coming on out, we get to our upstairs bath. So you have your toilet, you have your tub shower combo. Now this is a fiberglass composite material. One of the nice things, I know people do like tile better, but one of the nice things about the composite is it's easier to clean. There's no grout. There's your shower head, your valve, and your tub filler. And then if we spin directly around, does it have two sinks? Oh, just one. Again, I always ask this and I get 50-50 responses. Leave a comment down below. Do you like the double sink? Or do you like the extra counter space? I'm torn every time I see it because it is nice having the extra counter space. You can keep stuff out, but it also is nice having the sink. Mm -mm -mm. I feel like since this bathroom is a little bit on the smaller side and you can't really close it off, like just the water closet portion, the single sink is kind of nice. So here is your washer and dryer. Is there a light in here? There is. They just don't have it on. You can see the switch. But one of the nice things about this community, the washer and dryer are included. So again, I don't know if this is the exact model they're getting, but you will get a washer dryer with the home. It is included. Coming on into our primary suite. Right here we have our upstairs, our, ma our master, our primary suite bathroom. So just a single sink, but it does have a lot of space on the vanity. You have a nice big mirror. Again, the only difference would be it's just gonna come white instead of yellow. You have your toilet and then a shower only up here. So you have bench, bench, shelf, shelf. There is your shower head. All in all, pretty nice. Again, we're like decently below $400,000 in Henderson. Nice size room. This is a big room, king size bed and it almost even looks bigger than a king. We have our nightstand, nightstand. You could easily put a bench. You could put two chairs. They need to change their smoke detector battery. You have nice two big windows. There's probably seven feet between the edge of the bed and the dresser, but it is a pretty nice size room. Coming on into our closet. I'm gonna be honest, the closet is on the smaller side. So again, if you need more room, you can move it up. I almost wish they pulled this out just a little bit to get a little bit more closet room. I guess you could really go crazy with dressers in here because there's just so much room. The closets are a little bit on the smaller side, but other than that, this room's pretty cool. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. I know people are looking for homes under $400,000 that are new. 
It is almost impossible in Henderson, but here you go. Three, what did I say? 369.990. So here's your chance. And that's basically all in unless you get one premium lot on like a corner or near the beltway. So maybe an extra five grand. Again, let me know what you think about this one down in the comments below. If you have any questions about anything I've said in this tour, please, please, please feel free to reach out to me. Again, all my contact info down in the description as well as the pinned comment. Again, if you could do me a huge favor and hit that like button. Also, make sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.